Yo, crazies! It's me, Crazy Knock. We just went over the freaking Into the Verse stream, and there's a lot of good stuff. Then they came out with a freaking another video of combat. I don't know if they're gonna go through the stuff over again, but hopefully we get some more details. But if you want to see the new combat changes, holy shit, man, this is gonna change the game forever. And it just shows me that they're gonna add more and more. So let's take a look at the details. And I am here to present the combat changes coming to multiverses Let's take a look, with baby. the mid season patch. This is really exciting and we had a 1. very heavy 2. focus 2. on improving offense in the game. So let's talk about it. First things first are dodge cancels. As you know, when you dodge towards an enemy and you attack, yep. it almost costs three bars of meter. Meaning if you did this twice, you would it's almost insane. go in fatigue. Exactly. This like, would make your character feel a lot more sluggish you not and a lot worse of be a aggressive. character overall. Now, when you do dodge attacks, it'll only take two units yes! of dodge meter Oh my god, three. that's so good However, to actually see when it. when you do dodge jump or a boosted jump, you will still lose three meter bars. The dodge I jump cancel like while dodge meter is empty should still be actually feels a lot worse now. So before, when you did a dodge jump while you were in burnout or fatigued, you would still be able to pretty much jump immediately. Now, when you do that dodge, it will be delayed, so you will not be able to jump immediately, making it That's a lot nice. easier to catch opponents I while like that. they are Subtle. fatigued. I we didn't wanted know to introduce more movement options into multiverses, and so we thought to implement dodge lands. The way to do a dodge land is to do a air dodge when you're at a certain distance to the ground, aka close to it, and you will be able to slide forward or backward with momentum, and this can also be done on platforms. Okay, so it's if kind of like the void tech, but down or they almost made it like opponent, a official. But you're not close enough to hit them, your character will slide on the wow, ground towards off them, the platform and you will is be nuts. able to input a move during this time as well. Not only is it useful it's for like, movement, it also looks really cool. Way more beneficial if though. If you decide to do a dodge land off of a platform, you are actually able to either retain your positioning on the platform and stay on it, or you can slide off of the platform, which will allow you to be actionable. That could be really huge off the as ledge well. as well. In multiverses, when you are trying to recover back to the stage, you typically have to climb the wall to get back on. We wanted to make wall clinging and wall fatigue more punishable because players were able to kind of hang on to the wall for an extended period of time and just throw I like out the wall gameplay though until they were let back on by the opponent now when you cling onto the wall you will actually have wall fatigue after spending five seconds on the wall damn the five seconds five seconds fighters will also begin to slide faster on a wall after two consecutive wall clings down from four and fighters will reach maximum what do you fatigue say after eight consecutive wall clings five seconds fighters will also begin to slide faster on a wall after two consecutive wall clings oh down from so they four, jump off and fighters will oh, reach maximum wow after eight consecutive wall clings down from 12. this is to make it so that players feel more inclined to feel a sense of urgency to get back onto the stage and fighters will no longer refresh True. their air dodges or air specials if they wall cling at maximum wall fatigue so you will still be able to jump Dude, to try you to you better get stage, up off the wall fast otherwise you're dead in your kit anymore and lastly fighters losing dodge meter from maximum wall fatigue can no longer gain any dodge Holy meter shit. until the fighter it lands doesn't even refresh. onto the stage again that's this is wild. gonna be a big one so priority hit boxes are in the game and what are these exactly we felt that jabs were a bit I, too I like it strong though not only in neutral but just as a punishment tool as well 100 starting now all ground side attack combo hits beside the last part which is the finisher attack will now be considered low priority attacks losing to other moves before jabs were able to beat certain grounded and aerial options now Kill jabs have lower priority making them lose more often to these options so you should be coming out on top more in these interactions this is to stop jabs from over centralizing how you play multiverses and to take less power from them and put power into other moves our terrain bounces interesting so it seems like you from what i understand it you have a joker as example he jabs as i'm flying into him as superman with my side special if we like hit frame one he might do damage and hit me, but it will not trade. I'm pretty sure Superman will grab him. So the jabs aren't 
as strong of an option. I like that a lot. That's huge. <laughs> you know what else is huge? My forehead! It's grown so much with these patch notes and stuff. We haven't even gotten the patch notes yet. The official patch notes. That's going to be another video. My goodness gracious. No longer are affected by attack decay and the knockback have been reduced, but we have also introduced a new mechanic into the game, which is called automatic ground teching. When a fighter is the victim of a decay and our terrain bounces no longer are affected by attack decay and the knockback have been reduced, but we have also introduced uh -huh a new mechanic into the game, which is called automatic ground teching. When a fighter is the victim of a combo that bounces them off the ground, if they are bounced off the ground again, they will so instead twice. perform an automatic tech. This tech allows that, them to break insane. out of ground bouncing combos by stopping the fighter on the ground and returning them to an idle pose with invincibility frames. If the fighter holds left or right during the tech, they will move a short distance in either of and those it's directions. Automatic. But if they press nothing at all, they will actually tech in place in the same spot. This is another option, not only to prevent people from being comboed over and over and over without any way of getting out or just taking complete agency away from them, but this will also allow players who predict which That's direction really good. that the person that is teching is going That's to go really good. to try to continue I to wonder... press their offensive positioning from winning the interaction that allowed them to get the combo in the first place. Important, automatic ground teching will only initiate on the second ground bounce during a combo. Yeah. That way, players can still have and enjoy ground bounce combos. We are also able to introduce more attacks that will ground bounce in future patches as well. So this helps out players who need to escape combos and this also helps players who want to try to chase to extend combos as well. We hope that you enjoy this mechanic. Interesting. Wow, that's a, I actually like that it automatically does it and that you don't have to like click a button to do it. So it's almost like you, like, oh, you go for the combo, you go for the double bounce, and then you go try to go for the read on which direction he's going to swing out of. It would also be cool if the tech, the person who uses the tech, if they can like almost act as a dodge attack where they tech to the right and then they do an attack immediately and it takes some dodge meter. So that way... If they fa fail the read on you, then he can like counteract with another combo. That would be interesting. I don't know if that, I don't know if, it seems like they go into slight immunity frames or something. I'm not 100% sure. Maybe that's just during the tech though. That's actually really good. So for example, like Joker, but it might not be as severe where sometimes they do a pogo stuck into a pogo stuck because on the second pogo stuck, it would automatically do a tech and you could go to the other side. So that's gonna make it better. Uh, Superman, jab, jab, dare, jab, dare. That would activate it as well. But overall, I think those are good changes. We hope this mechanic is helpful and we hope that all of these changes for offense coming up in the season two mid-season patch prove to be not only effective, but also enjoyable. Thank you so much for watching. That was nice. This again is your community manager in a cat. Take it easy, have a great day. So that's really nice. It seems like there's a lot of new tech involved. All of it seems good. Oh, I'm, I'm trying to think like, oh, what seems bad? Maybe the wall fatigue I'm kind of worried about because I know wall gameplay is a lot of fun. So maybe if they, if there's people like attacking and swinging or hitting an opponent, then it should reset your wall. Maybe that could be an option. I don't know if that's how it works. I think they also said they're going to add things like Jake where he could do the nair and then the, you could do nair nair or you could do nair into a, a neutral special to continue the attack. I think they're going to look at movement options for that in the future as well. So this game is going to be more a little more complicated, but still keeping that easy to get into mentality. But guys, jabs, jabs are going to be so cancer anymore. Jabs are going to be so cancer. And at least from what they've been saying, uh, the priority is amazing as well. Oh my goodness gracious, man. It's going to be so good. Everything I've seen says aggression, aggression, aggression. A really good start in the right direction. Let me know what you guys think of the combat changes. Crazies! With that, I say good day and goodbye. Goodbye, crazies. Goodbye, crazies. Goodbye, crazies. I love you, crazies. <laughs>